films, I, um, I actually had sold my last uh, muffin pan and was, so I went on the hunt and I found one at Walmart. And let me tell you, our silicone um, just is like top notch compared to those cheap ones. So I'm loving this for two reasons. Uh, one, the superior quality. Two, because um, the other bombs, uh, whenever somebody would move anything in my fridge, they were in a ball shape. So they would roll around, hit what, you know, hit the container and then they would break. So this here, I kind of did this in stages so you guys could see the finished product, okay? Um, and we wouldn't have to wait for the refrigerated um, part of it. So here is the finished project product almost. We are gonna add a little, little decoration to it. But this, as you can see, it's not gonna slide all over my fridge when one of the kids, you know, grabs something from under it because nobody wants to pick up what's on top. They just, you know, snatch it. It's not going to fall and break. So I love that about our muffin pan. Okay, our silicone muffin. So, okay, the other thing I love about it is how um, just it's sturdy and uh, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, oven safe. Okay, so I love this. So I'm gonna show you that first. Um, I'm also gonna use our vent and serve. It is elevated with the little feet at the bottom, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and freezer safe, okay? And I'll tell you more while this is cooking. So I, I have one square per muffin hole. Okay, so that's kind of the general rule so you know how much to make. So you want to start off with 30 seconds. 30 seconds is not going to anywhere near melt the chocolate, but um, if you go longer, it can burn the chocolate. So I'm going to do that. And um, a little bit more about our vent serves is it has the little pop top here, and this pops up to let the steam release. It also keeps your food from splattering all over your microwave, or if you take it to work, it stops everybody else's food from going into yours after it's been splattered, okay? So um, we have round and rectangular sizes. And this is almost done. This is the, the most boring part is waiting for the microwave. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, it's not melted, but it has started to, it can just slide around a little bit. So I just move it around just a hair. And then they say put it in for 15 seconds. I know my microwave, so I put it in for another 25 just because I have that um, kind of down pat with this by now. But definitely go 15 minutes or 15 second increments until you learn your microwave um, enough to know for sure. And I do keep um, all of these, the chocolates, the almond bark, and all of that in our modulates. Uh, the reason being is number one, it, the packages slide all over the place in your pantry. And number two, it just seems like it keeps it fresher. I don't know, um, it doesn't turn that white, the chocolate will turn sometimes when I keep it in here, okay? So this should be about ready. You don't want your chocolate liquidy. So we'll see how it's still kind of together. I'm just gonna mush it down with our silicone spatula here. Um, my the current silicone spatula that's in the catalog, um, I used it and it's in the dishwasher, so sorry. This is the old one, anyhow. So I just kind of stirred that together. And now I'm going to take it and I'm only gonna do this just to show you guys because I already have it set and ready. So I'm gonna take the silicone mold and you're going to put it really thick on the walls and the bottom. You don't want any kind of, um, uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in this or not, but you don't want, see how you can kind of see um, a little bit of the red from the silicone still. You don't want that. You don't want that showing at all. You want it to be real thick um, because the thicker the better actually, because that's going to be the thickness of your um, cocoa bomb. And you want that to be thick. Otherwise, once it refrigerates, and I actually did one with a light spot just so you guys could see. See how you can see the light spot? That's going to not last in your cocoa, okay? So you want good and thick. You're not saving calories here. <laughs> and it's just more chocolate in your hot cocoa and you can't go wrong with that, right? Okay, I'm sorry you guys can't see me do this. Um, I couldn't find anything to make that work <laughs> for you to see both, but I'll show you here in the end. I'm just kind of putting it on. No oils or anything is used. 
And I'm going to have a little bit of chocolate left, and that's what I would seal the, the cocoa balm with, okay? And that's going to harden while this is in the refrigerator. That would sit into the in the and serve, and it would harden. And that's okay because you just microwave it for another 15 seconds at a time until it's right back to the same consistency. And then you can put it on, okay? And just look at it with different... Um, different angles of light to make sure that you don't have any of that silicone showing. That's the most important part because if you get too thin, it's going to break or you're gonna have holes in it like I showed you with the other one. Okay, so you guys can see I've got it very well coated. You can't see any of that and I'll put that into the refrigerator later. But then this, when you're done, is going to pop right out of there. Just simple, simple as can be, just pops right out, okay? It out. How long does it have to cool in there before it pops out like that? You're, That's so cool. Yeah, about 10 minutes. So um, it, it doesn't take too long, but I didn't want us to just be sitting with dead air while we did that, so. No, no, I was thinking yeah. I might do a fruit cup. You know how, like, a, it's a chocolate cup, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds yummy, actually. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna take your half. I needed to make sure I wasn't using the one with the hole in it. You're gonna take your half and you're gonna take a packet of hot cocoa or um, if you buy it in the canisters or you can make your own mix too. We actually have a recipe for that, but this is just simple. <laughs> it's already done and ready. And I'm using a whole packet um, at my hot cocoa bomb class that we did in person, we used a little less so we could add some extra goodies, okay? So again, I'm going to use my modular mates because everybody knows, especially in Florida, your marshmallows get sticky, yucky, and then hard. So in my modular mates, they do not do that. So I have my marshmallows that are just like I just bought them. <laughs> so I'm gonna put however many uh, marshmallows you want. I'm sorry, sorry, Tara. I was going to tell Sheila, she was talking about using that for fruit cups. Uh -huh. If you flip the muffin tins upside down and drizzle the uh, chocolate on them, you can make it lacy looking. Oh, cute. Okay, so you can add whatever you want, guys. You can crush up Oreos, you can put it in there. You can do uh, mints, peppermints, uh, like the, uh, what am I, what are the, brand name, the chocolate and the mint, those really good Andy's mints. You can do that with it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some sprinkles in. Just as much as you want. And then you're gonna take the other side and you're going to place it together. Now I have felt, again, it does take longer in person because you're not doing all this uh, we're, not, we're skipping the refrigeration time. Um, I also suggest that you always um, make an extra one because it never fails that you have one crumble on you or um, you know you did miss a spot even though you checked it really, really good and you ended up missing a spot anyhow, okay? All right, so I'm gonna try to hold this up and show you. Another bonus to not having the sphere is I can put it on this plate and it not roll around and do this because trying to hold it is very difficult. Now I did, um, I have several times used our deco pin for this part of it, but honestly, this part is easier with just a spoon um, because of when you hold it, you kind of crunch the chocolate. So this part, we're still gonna use the deco pin, but we're gonna use it to decorate it afterwards, okay? So I'm just turning the spoon, the uh, plate around here and kind of sealing that up. I hope you guys can see this, okay? Kind of sealing that up and then we're going to pop it back in the fridge. It'll sit there for about 10 minutes again and then it'll be ready. So I just go all the way around. And then where you made this mess, you can either take off the excess chocolate. For us at home, we just use it and that's fine. Um, or you can decorate around it. You can take the deco pin and do like swirly lines and things like that. Um, so all of it's not done, but you can see there's still a little bit that on the backside needing done. Um, but that will end up looking like this. And then we're gonna take um, one square of the uh, uh, vanilla almond bark and do the same thing. 
We're going to start it off with 30 seconds. And I'm going to decorate the one that I already have ready for you. It's okay. So, and again, you can do any kind of um, any kind of almond bark. You can do any kind of flavoring. I actually had one once that was pumpkin, and it was pretty good. I did it with coffee. Um, it was pretty good. The it's really good with the peppermint bark. If you love that, um, the peppermint chocolate is good. The peppermint white chocolate. Grab another silicone spatula. I can't have enough of these silicone spatulas. I have five now in my house and they're still always, I always run out. So, all right. Now, if you guys don't have our deco pen, this is pretty awesome. It has the little stand here and it has this piece that pops in here and I'll show you that. So the only trick to this, um, I actually made the mistake of using it for my um, hot cocoa in person party. And we had about 20 guests. And so it was hardening inside there before the next person would get their turn. So that's the one thing you want to make sure of with this is that you're not letting it get hard inside there. Okay. If you do let it get hard, all you have to do, I'm going to have to warm that up just a little bit more. Um, if you do let it get hard, just put it back in uh, under hot water for a minute because you can't microwave this, but you can put it under hot water and soften that right back up, okay? I thought I had enough melted to use, <laughs> but I need a little bit more, so. And if you're better free-handed than me, I am not good free-handed at all. You could actually do it um, free-handed, but I like my deco pen. I don't know if you guys use your deco pen a lot, but I love it. Okay. I'm just gonna pop a little cap on here. And then I'm gonna to try to hold this up so I can do it. And you can just do your little swirly lines, make it nice and pretty. You can go, I don't know if I can, if you guys can see that or not. You could do that all the way around it if you wanted to. Um, go up, up and down your sides, cover any mistakes you made. We can Again, see it, just, Tara, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> just more chocolate you're putting into your hot cocoa, so. No, that's great. And the pen yeah. shows real good definition to it. That's awesome. Yes, I love it. But my the pen is something I really didn't think I was going to use. Um, except for I thought I would use it um on like kids' birthdays, and I thought it's so to be used like three times a year, but I use it a lot more than I ever thought I would. So it's definitely a piece for your kitchen and it's very inexpensive. So but yeah, just decorate it away however you want to. You can do much prettier. You could write a name or um, you could add colors and do some of like food coloring and do some reds and things like that. It'd be cute. So, and then um, does everybody know how to use a hot cocoa bomb or is that something I should go over? Yeah, please tell me what to yeah. do with it. Yeah, I was gonna okay, say, so. what's the next part? Yeah, girl, we look, you got us now. What do we do with it now? <laughs> okay, so this is perfect size for about a 14 ounce cup. And of course it has to be wide mouth because of the, uh, the muffin pan. And I'm gonna tell you a trick that I have not, some people say they really like doing this. I, I don't like it, but when they pop this pop, when they pop this piece out and they um, fill it on the other side, they just sit that into a pan to kind of melt on the other one. I haven't had any luck with that, but some people swear by that way. So something else you guys can try if you want, but anyhow, you get, we need wider mouth um, mugs. <laughs> we need our mugs to come out. I'm not sure if this will work or not. Okay, so this isn't quite big enough, but you just pop this in there and then you're gonna put um, about 14 ounces of warm milk on it and you just watch it explode and kind of open up. And, and all the um, 
the colors and stuff that you put into it, it's really cool. And Walmart right now has the, um, the sprinkles that are snowflakes and stuff. So that looks really cute oh. in it when it pops. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm getting the concept now because Kyle was all on the rage when they were first like at the coffee shops, and I'm like, hey, those things are expensive. So I think we tried one before, but it was like I don't think we had a lot in it. So you can put anything you want in between there, seal it up with your chocolate, and when you put that hot milk on there, it's gonna melt the chocolate cup, and of course the insides things will come out. Right, and then it just kind of explodes, and it's all that sweetness, deliciousness. <laughs> And yeah, because the cocoa is in there too. Yes. That so is super I, cool. I sold, Tupperware had um, some of those big mugs one time and I sold mine and I'm wishing I would have held on to them because now I have to find something that, that will fit in. <laughs> so we'll need a, it probably would fit in there actually if I just let it go. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I but usually I add that big cup though. I have those cups we're talking about. Yeah, I usually add the milk, um, the milk first because it's just us, and you know we don't care <laughs> really what it looks like. But when you when you give it to somebody or something like that, you want it, you know, a little bit. <laughs> I think they that's are the, adorable. That's the gist of it. I love them. I think, and um, I was a little iffy on the muffin pan at first because it's not the sphere, but in the long run, this is definitely the better concept. And you can actually see this one, I didn't even, it's not even been put in the fridge. And what I what I did put on is already uh, sealed up and hardened. I see. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. So uh, the kids can have fun with that. And then you had like, a, those were like adults and kids that you had the class with or uh, adults? It was only adults. It was uh, like a card craft class and doing hot cocoa bombs. And it was a lot of fun. Wonderful. Wonderful. I think Wonderful. doing them in the muffin tins is amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, I we like had so idea. many, we had so many break because of just rolling around in the containers. Oh, and one other thing, after you get them made, our modular mate two is the perfect size to hold them. <laughs> ah. So you can make a few ahead of time and not, you know, oh, I really want hot cocoa, but I'm too lazy to do it right now. Cause that's me. <laughs> I love my hot cocoa. And then I'm like, yeah, is it worth getting up for? But if I do it ahead of time, I don't have to worry about that. So would you put that in the fridge or could you leave it out depending on how, how cool you keep your house? I would probably um, put it in the fridge just because we keep it our, our house about 73. So mm -hmm. just chocolate sitting out will start melting a little bit. So, yeah. but not enough that it would matter. No. Well, yeah, with just the two of us here, I would be thinking, gosh, we would never eat them all. But <laughs> um, Well, you but figured we... one, one muffin pan is only going to make three. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Yeah, because okay. you're going to put these two on top of each other. So okay. this, is, this is only three of them. So, and that's why I say there's um, at least three of us always drinking hot cocoa. So I, I have to make some ahead of time. Otherwise, I'm just too lazy to do it and then we get pack it and that's not nearly as fun or as good <laughs> right no that makes sense now I don't know why I was thinking I was gonna make a dozen <laughs> <laughs> yes Maybe you know, always just else? take you more batches <laughs> yes always make an extra yeah you need more of the silicone muffin forms <laughs> always make more than what you're wanting so just in case you have an accident all right so Tara just to recap here, uh, just for this for this simple class, because you could totally do a couple of steps ahead of time, even if it was for a host, mm -hmm. like how many products did we use just for that? Because that could be a total one hour party. Oh, yeah. You know? I did. Um, I used the silicone form. I used my modular mates, my silicone spatula, the deco pen, um, the, the plates. Mm -hmm. And then if, if you guys have the big mugs, those would be... We need yeah, those, those to come out because now I need those. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And you can always upsell the measuring spoons and um, cups. And yeah. I just see this being such a fun party. And I thank you for showing it to me because for some reason I had it being super hard in my mind. <laughs> I did too. And the first time I did it, I made it harder than it was too. So that's why um, I, I really like doing the class because it's so much easier than what it seems like you you look at my directions on that paper and you're like oh my goodness 
And I was very overwhelmed. Believe it or not, I actually took the directions that I learned from and convinced them into that. So when I first did it, there was like 20 steps. And I was like, oh my goodness, what am I getting myself into? <laughs> right, right. So, but yeah, it's not not that hard, really. It's just, um, you know, I, I put out like the steps of putting it in the refrigerator and stuff like that. And I put it in other steps so that you didn't have right. that. Because I'm thinking I might advertise to do a class because even if it's after the holidays, I might advertise it to learn how to make them for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. It'd be cute with little candy hearts and stuff inside. Exactly. Yeah, I, think that might be my, mm -hmm, I think that might be my first party of the year. I'm going to go ahead and book it and uh, start inviting people to it and open up and show all kinds of uh, different things about it and cocoa and all that kind of stuff, because this is so good, Tara. Thank you so much, man. This, this is just so cute between the last night recipes and these recipes. I mean, now I'm just like, oh, I'm so ready because customers need uh, something fun to jump onto. Like we totally want to do something fun this time of year. Well, this would be a fun mom and me class. And um, I will say for my hot cocoa class, I made ahead of time 12 halves. That way, if someone did mess up their half, we had an extra and could keep the party going and not, you know, nobody would feel bad or, and if you do mess mess up your half, you can um, just, re, you know, crumble it and re-microwave it too. It does, you know, you can reuse it again. It's no big deal. Exactly. You might be able to throw it in one of the insides of the other ones or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or, or have you a little, ha or have you a little container to say, you know, on those days when you want to cheat, just put all the leftover scraps in one container, right? Right. <laughs> and just dump it into your cocoa. <laughs> that totally would be me. I'll probably have a modular mate full of scraps. And <laughs> yeah, y'all. Yes. I'm telling y'all, I'm a, I'm a much more savory. Uh, person I don't really bake a lot but this um these recipes have got me stretching out my comfort zone more so this is very good and this is what these type of things are for does anyone else have any other questions because I am all over Tara so excited <laughs> <laughs> anybody else have any questions or comments for her? because I think she's got it she finished it all up that was so cool yeah and I just seen um somebody was talking about the barbecue brushes here who was that Yes, I was. I, I have a barbecue brush, and I didn't know if you could brush it closed or did you need it to be thicker. Um. So again, I experimented with this a few times, and my the first recipe I tried told me to use paint brushes, and that's what I used first. What a mess that was! <laughs> okay. First of all, you you wasted the paint brushes. Second of all, then it's got all those brush strokes, and it's too thin. So uh -huh. our silicone spatula is perfect because you just lay it in there. You can't put too much chocolate, so. Okay. All right. Well, we'll stick to just what you told me to do, and I'll stick with the spoon for the um, the um, sealing it up. Yes. Yes, that was much easier. Um, just doing it myself, it's not so bad with the deco pen, but for a party, I would definitely just do the spoon. Okay. Okay. Because no, had I, at the sink that makes sense. To, yeah, because then we had everybody at the sink trying to, you know, put hot water on it, and then you had water and everything. So it was just definitely use the spoon for a party. Okay. Sounds good. Anyone else have any questions or comments for Tara? Because I, I'm so ready to, I think I got my first party of the year is going to be a cocoa bomb party. <laughs> I think it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Anybody else have any questions or comments for Tara? I know there'll be, um, you can read through those, Tara. People have already chatted. I don't know. If I will. Yeah, you can see the chat because you just saw that. And then um, people will probably comment since this is recorded right in Higher Vision. And then I will also get the video uh, loaded onto for YouTube so it can be shared there. Okay, great. All right. Anything else, guys? I think this is so cool. I can't wait to do something else. The next I part of class, say thank we you. go. Yes, go You're ahead. Welcome. <laughs> I have to catch up on the other classes because I was my plan was to do that last night and Krista got sick on me after my party. I was going to do it, you know, at my little chill time after I get the kids in bed, but she was up all night sick. So that's all right, honey. Take care of your babies. Well, that's why we yeah. record them. And, and I'd have learned something new how to stream to Facebook. So y'all in trouble now. How are you? The next thing is we got to get together and do the, the um, our um, back to 
how do we say it? Our resolution, solution to the resolution. But before yeah. that, even if any of you on here or you got someone on your team want to um, know anyone that can really demonstrate modular mates, and of course, y'all know I know who you are, but uh, <laughs> I would love to do this a couple of times, maybe before the new year, just to get the new consultants excited about modular mates. So I'll be in touch with you about that. Or please hit me up if you would like to. Um, do that. I started to post some of our old videos, but um, it, they were talking about old sales and things like that. So I think we need to do a new, just a straight modular mate video without talking about the sales. And uh, so I'll be getting people to help with that. So thank you so much, Tara. I'm going to stop the recording now. Let me do that.